And I think there's someone listening that really needs to hear this. It was sometime in 2011. I don't know what happened. I was, of course, I was single, very, very single and celebrated at that time. I, I just saw my, 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 my stomach was bulging out and I was wondering what's happening here. Fortunately, I was living in loot quarters at that very point in time. I had a friend that is a senior gynecologist in loot quarters and he said, ah, why is your stomach bulging? Because you have a very flat tummy naturally. And he said, okay, let's just go and do a scan. And we went, I'm trying to really summarize that. We went to do a scan and behold, we saw three bulging things called fibro there. And immediately we saw that scan, guess what? I started having um, bleeding, I started bleeding. And it was just like, if <laughs> it was like a fin trick. And guess what? I bleeded for so long a time. You cannot imagine, not just the bleeding. I, it was really painful, so much that I can't stand, I can't sit. I, I, look, you may not understand what I'm saying, as in the pain was excruciating. I don't even wish it for my worst enemy. And that was when I understood what the woman with the issue of blood Thank went you. through. That ah, I can just imagine what this woman went through. And prayers were being said, me, what I couldn't stand up. I had lost my. In fact, I had to stop work. So when I was not coming to work for a long time, they had to practically, you know, let it go. So I called a friend of mine who who, who works there. Say, you know what? Arrange for a surgery for me. And because they said that's the only way it can come out. And guess what? Do you know that I was privately preparing for a surgery but my mother had dreamt where she was that look i was going to go for a surgery and i won't come out mm -hmm. of that surgery so she came to lagos only to see me that why didn't you stay for me and you're going through all this pain all alone blah 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 she decided to stay with me because she didn't plan for that journey she had to go back so one of the days she went back the pain was really bad and i said god you know what i really want to come home tonight can you just take me home because at least mm -hmm. if there's no time in my life i was sure that if i go i would make heaven mm -hmm. that was the time <laughs> i said god please take me home tonight this pain is really bad if there is no more bam in gilead mm -hmm. i remember that statement i looked up because i was crawling to the bedroom in my room because it was self contained i said if there's no more bam in gilead can you share like, mommy, lo, li, la, le. I said, take me home tonight this pain is is really bad. I can't hold it anymore. It was bad. And I don't know the heavens had. Mm. That was after so many weeks, after many months, you know, of of, of, of pain, excruciating pain. When it starts, you can't stand, you can't sit, you can't bend, you, you will soil everywhere you are at that very point in time. And you can't even eat well because you can't. Mm. It was a whole lot. June, I just crawled to the bedroom and I said, and I felt like I, I was going to be. But before you know it, I felt like it's not the way is not coming. Something else stronger was coming. I was like, ah, I didn't, I didn't feel like I was gonna pull now. But to cut long story short, as I just felt like a pressure, something just came out of me, and behold, the three things that was seen in the scan. Mm. And, you, and someone is out there and say there is no God. Kaliyano shatabra handi. Ah, lebraga do shatande kadaya. As in the three things that were seen in the scan, the doctor said it can only come out through surgery. Mm. Came out through me, Olufunke. Mm. And you tell me there is no God. <laughs> <laughs> and I said to God, and immediately the pain vanished to mm. tomorrow. And I made a vow to God for whoever cares to listen, that for as long as I live, I would only share this testimony. And I'm sure there's someone out there listening at this time saying that I'm going through a whole lot of pain. Your own may not be with physical pain, it may be emotional pain, it may be traumatic pain, it may be financial pain, whatever pain. Come, mm. trust God. God can bring you out from any pain. Of I can course. tell you, God can be trusted. Yeah. I've been there in various fair, it's a whole lot. Time will not permit us to say everything. But that one, I told God, for as long as I live, I will share with the whole world. Mm. That was really bad but god almighty came through for me tell me would my father and mother would be able to come through you know <laughs> when we took that we actually put those things together and i called the gynecologist to come and said in his 25 years of practicing as a den mm. that he has never seen a thing like this before and he took it back to the lab the same thing that they saw mm. in the lab was what came out of me mm. hallelujah 